So powers are repeated multiplication. When we write 3 to the power of 4, we mean 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So let's say we have 3 to the power of 2. That's 9. 3 to the power of 3, 27. 3 to the power of 4, 81. The pattern is that we're multiplying by 3 each time. So if we continue again, we'll multiply by 3 and get 243. If we go to the left, we are dividing by 3. So we're just following patterns, noticing patterns, If we divided 9 by 3, we would get 3. And if we divided 3 by 3, we would get 1. And what if we took 1 and divided that by 3? I would get 1 third. and I divided it by 3 again, I would get 1 ninth. And I'm just continuing the pattern with the exponents, subtracting 1 from the exponent. So when I'm going in this direction, I'm dividing by 3. When I'm going in this direction, I'm multiplying by 3. So what we've just done is we've shown what an exponent of 0 gives us and what an exponent with a negative integer gives us. So another way of writing these numbers would be 3 to the power of 1, 1 over 3 to the power of 2, or 1 over the power of 3 to the power of 3. So if we generalize this, we can say that if we have a number, let's, let's do another example. Let's say it's 5 to the power of negative 2. That's going to be equal to 1 over 5 to the power of positive 2 which is 1 over 25. So let's say we had one over three to the power of four and we wanted to write that without the fraction we could write this as one third to the power of four because 1 to the power of 4 and 3 to the power of 4 is equal to what we started with. And we can also write this as 3 to the power of negative 4. So three different ways to write the same power.